While we're waiting for this parking lot to dry, I thought I would cover a topic that has been brought up kind of a lot on my channel, and it's about my sort of skateboarding world in New York City, and why I sort of avoid skateboarding with, uh, well, with skaters. There was a lot of rumbling about maybe who I would skateboard with a lot once I got out there, uh, and then I just ended up kicking it with someone that was uh, a very unlikely person. What's up, John? Yo! Been a long minute, bro. We're still alive. Yeah, it's John Reyes, uh, a professional scooter is who I ended up spending most of my time with. But here's like here's a glossary of this video in case you want to skip around. New York session with John Reyes, how New York skateboarders actually felt about me, another session with John Reyes, why I ended up skating with a scooter a lot, and then a session on the flat rails in this parking lot. So there's the glossary, skip around if you must, but the whole thing is going to be interesting, I promise you. How did New York skateboarders actually feel about me? Uh, they were indifferent. They didn't really care. A lot of people hit me up all the time to skate. And the reason I bring this up because I got a comment that said the only reason John's kicking it so much with a scooter is because New York skaters don't really mess with him. That's not true by any stretch of the imagination. It New York really is the epitome of the meme where your friend comes into town and instead of saying, when are we meeting up? You say, dude, you're gonna have such a good time because everyone seems to be very busy in New York. And it's true, you feel that way. So no matter how many times I would plan with people to meet up and skate, it just didn't really work out. And I had such a flow where every single day I would film these videos, hang out with my fiance, that I really didn't want more than like one or two other people to kind of try to intertwine in my life. And if I did, I wanted them to be someone who kind of understood my landscape, which is filming YouTube videos, etc. which is, you know, that's where John Ray's came in and we had a lot of uh, really fun adventures. <laughs> Why John Reyes and when has a skateboarder actually built such a good relationship with a scooter? The truth is John Reyes and I, we talk all the time. We actually connect 
pretty frequently to kind of see what's going on in his life. And actually at the end of this video, he sent me an update about what is happening in his life. And it's pretty random. I'm not the only one who moved from New York City. Passion is more relatable than craft. I'm not sure if you've heard of that. I'm not sure if that's even a quote, but John Reyes and I shared a passion for skateboarding that is pretty unique. He shared the same passion for scootering and we both did YouTube. We made videos kind of similarly. We had similar adventures. We covered similar topics. Pretty much me and him were very similar in almost every single way besides the actual craft, which is, it was a skateboard versus a scooter. So I had more in common with him with everything that encompassed who he was than with maybe the uh, a skateboarder in New York City who was just focused on skateboarding. Also, a hard part about making YouTube videos, kind of, is that you have to sit there and make sure that you skate and film the video. When you're with friends, a lot of times you don't even skate. You just hang out for two or three hours. You might get a couple tricks in here and there, but usually you're just hanging out with your friends and it's fun, etc. But the work actually doesn't get done and that's a problem because I need to put up the content and with John Reyes you know we knew that the job had to get done because we both had the same goal get the YouTube video up skate as much as humanly possible get as much as we could done as fast as you get it so no New York skateboarders did not hate me uh, John and I just got along really fine and it was really good and now I'm in Texas doing my dang thing and now I want to get a session into this parking lot even though I had to uh, basically sweep away a bunch of cow manure because I guess that's what they use this lot for uh, I'm really interested in trying to learn new tricks but man I just want to skate and it's finally dry yeah I'm yeah I was gonna go on a skate adventure but it rained this morning so this is what we're left with and you know what it's perfectly fine I love 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 skating these transformer slash progress daily rails uh, yeah they're my they're my custom rail so if you want a new rail link in description down below they're great <laughs> all my juice on like one trick holy crap that took so unbelievably long to land like a clean one holy crap I'm like bummed that took so long it was so hard I'm so terrible at nose blunts wow I did like 60 and I'm no better at them Woo! beat and for those who didn't gather John Reyes the uh, scooter he's a youtuber he's actually got a, a massive YouTube channel I'm not even sure how many subscribers but uh, yeah this is what he's been up to he, he literally moved to North Carolina New York I miss it but a little bit of change of scenery I've lived in New York my entire life I've lived in the apartment my entire life and here in North Carolina we scooped a house and that's kind of the biggest reason why we moved over here to have room to have real estate very tough in New York. You have to have a lot, a lot, a lot of money that just, ah. I do miss the sessions. I do miss my friends. That's something I can't replace. And of course, I miss the morning sessions with this fool, John, because we had the same routine. We had the same ideas, the same style of filming, and we kind of just did the same thing. 
which worked out, except he skateboarded, I scooter, which was the only difference, but what kept things really interesting. And you guys know it always feels good to do new things, to go new places, and to even try new skate parks. But I'm still doing my thing, filming YouTube videos all the time. Got my sponsors to work for, trying to get better at riding, trying to learn a bunch of new stuff. And to have a house is a blessing. I got my own little flat riding spot in here. And we're actually getting a concrete square poured in today so I can ride even more in my backyard. That's been it, riding nonstop. But like I said, I do miss my friends. I do miss New York. I can definitely breathe a little better here. Now, back to John. The good old homie, he's still doing well. And me and him are kind of on the same wavelength. Even right now, we're uploading both very consistently. We both have like kind of an insane work ethic for all this stuff. Obviously, we're always going, 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 going. Uh, at the end of the day, the thing I care most about, uh, of course, is just life in general, hanging out with the people I love, but also just getting better at skateboarding. Like right now, I feel just as good as ever, even though I'm aging rapidly. I'm still like, why am I still like getting better just as consistently? So that's good. Right now, I'm just gonna keep playing with this as long as I can because it is super fun. And the fact that I get to make videos kind of behind the fact that I skate is just amazing. It's cool being able to basically just get paid enough to do the thing that I want to do all the time, which is skateboarding. And it's cool. So thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for hopefully enjoying today's video. I know it was sort of like one of those episodic, here's the year in review type episodes, but it's just, a, there's a lot of people who subscribe to me now who didn't watch all the New York footage. So I thought it was cool to just throw some of that in here, spice it up a bit with some new content uh, at a different location. And if you enjoyed, let me know down below. Of course, check out the links in the description down below if you want to get yourself a flat rail. All the support is much appreciated. Thank you so much. See you every Tuesday thursday and saturday new for a new video on this channel my god i have such a script at the end thank you so much take care progress daily and keep killing it